and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Christmas socks. Oh my god. This is perfect. I needed more socks. God, they're so cute. Thank you, mom. Good morning, beautiful, authentic beings. Yeah, I just felt like singing today. The theme for today is letting go and forgiving everything that has happened in the past. We sometimes get so just like stuck in the past about things that happened, about how you showed up, about how you behaved, about what you did. And it's stopping us from actually moving forward. So that's like the main theme for today's vlog. I have pulled the morning cards for us today. We got New Moon in Sagittarius and One of Pentacles. Whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks. But be, caref but be careful you don't bet the farm on something here, as the wheel of fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others we're just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up, if that's something you're working to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your world view. Attune to the moon, count your blessing, literally. Write them down or say them out loud. Additional meanings for this card. You need to laugh more. This is a wonderful time to start a course of study or teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice. Be a Facebook journal or a blog. The teaching. Sagittarius is the sign of fun, travel, exploration, and the great cosmic quest. It's a sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, upbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all this, as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius, and an optimistic energy could attract all matter of good things if you tap into that energy by expecting the best. Be grateful, guys. Literally, what you put out, you get back. No joke. Ace of Pentacles, that's what it's called. Like all aces, the Ace of Pentacles is also a beginning. The energy of the suit involves the physical area of life, the manifestation of reality and its element of earth. It involves our body, the work we allow ourselves to live comfortably, and everything that keeps us rooted. Each ace is a possibility, an opportunity that is offered to us. In this case, it is the suit of a project that is manifesting, the possibility of transforming what we imagine into something real. It's a new beginning, something small that starts to move. That's what I'm, I keep telling you guys. This is like a whole new chapter and I feel like a lot of us are really stepping into the fullest version of ourselves and really shedding our past and that's why i kind of wanted to talk about letting go and forgiving because in order to move forward you gotta release the past what's holding you back so we got new beginnings and luck is on our side great things are about to come Ooh. as always take what resonates leave what doesn't The washing machine is on. I also managed to <laughs> to wash my top. So it's way too small and I definitely cannot get it over my head. I got dressed feeling very 
tired and just full. Today, almost fell asleep while I was editing my video. This weekend is gonna be a lot and then I have a few weeks or a few days off, a few days on. It's just when I work three days in a row, it's a lot, especially with vlogmas and everything on top of every everything. I also learned to love my messiness, the messiness of my hair yesterday. We're going all out, looking like rock stars. I'm gonna get ready while I talk to you guys about letting go and forgiveness. I have gone through so many iterations of who I am in such a short period of time. When you want to grow and you, when you want to evolve, you have to let go of the person that you used to be. It's inevitable. Like it's, you can't be the person you were and the person that you want to become. It's not possible. And I don't think you want to either. The person that you were was comfortable and was doing the same thing and was in that same pattern that you've been in your whole life. And it is comfortable, but letting go of that past version of you, letting go of things that have happened to you and forgiving both yourself and the people that was in those experiences is so key for you to be able to move forward. And I think forgiveness is such like a taboo topic because for me, for example, I was sexually violated in 2021. I have forgiven the people that did that to me because forgiveness is not about condoning and saying that what happened what someone else did was right it's about releasing yourself energetically from the situation you going around thinking about all these things and having these like thoughts about oh they did that to me and being the victim is not beneficial and it's not doing anything to them it's only you that it hurts and i think actually letting go the resentment and letting go and forgiving whatever has happened to you in the past like your parents for not showing up the way that you probably would have wanted them to like there are so many things that we need to forgive in order to evolve and i know it's hard i know letting go is not easy because especially when if you've like attached your personality to it and if it's become a part of who you are yeah it will be hard to let go but i promise you the more you let go of the past the more you let go of your past self the more you forgive yourself that's a really important one and others the easier it will get to actually grow and keep on moving forward because no one benefits from you staying in the past and just you know feeling sorry for yourself that life happened like this because no life happens for you not to you we get to choose how we react to it and what we project out in the world if we do the work we can start changing that and we can actually start choosing our own reality being in the driver's seat it's fully possible but you gotta be aware you gotta let go you gotta trust and believe and do the work i'm gonna end the video finish my makeup talk to you guys later good evening everyone i am currently on my way home from work good morning it is currently vlogmas day four but as you see these two videos are wrapped into one i realized that editing and filming a new video each day is not possible in the long run I need at least like one day where I don't have to think about editing. I'm putting together Saturdays and Sundays each week. All the Vlogmas videos. I will post one Saturday and then I will post one Monday. So Sunday is like the exception. I usually spend Sundays like planning the next week, making sure I have everything in order. I am opening up my Christmas gift. 
piece of paper? <laughs> A huge ass gift card <laughs> to go to a movie. And we are back from work. I'm really tired. It's been a lot just the past few weeks with everything going on. I think I'm just emotionally tired. And with the big changes going on in my life, I feel like everything is unraveling. Like everything. Nothing feels aligned. It feels like I just want to make this huge change and that's scary but yeah I'm in my bed about to go to sleep yeah I just I want to be as open and honest and vulnerable with you guys as possible even though it is weird and scary and sharing this real time is not any like anything I've done before but I'm excited about it so yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> this vlogmas is gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm really releasing the grip on trying to like move it some sort of way. I really want to go with the flow and really talk about whatever is coming up for me at this moment because that's what feels most in alignment right now. Me like having these like planning every day, doing some Christmassy stuff, and it's just not where I am right now. And I will do that as well, you know? I will have the Christmassy moments and the lights and all these beautiful, wonderful things, but I am really going deep into a transmission and into a massive change in my life, and this is how it looks. <laughs> I hope you guys are here for it. I'm so fucking here for it and I'm so here to actually document it to you guys and we'll continue also after Vlogmas. <sighs> I will leave you guys here and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and commented down below if you're going through any transmission, transition anything that is really like ew, but also very exciting <laughs> i love you guys so so much and i will see you tomorrow